Hello friends, it's been one and a half years I have been posting videos on the YouTube channel and here I am posting today the trick number 500. Apart from tricks, there have been numerous live streams and numerous lectures for better learning, even science videos. You all have given tremendous support to the channel and I expect that in the years to come, this channel will benefit each and every person, each and every student, competitive exam aspirants and every corner of the world has been supportive for motivating me to keep on giving my best. So I thank you for giving so much support at every time. So in this video, I am going to deal with a method through which you can find out the decimal representation of terminating decimals law. Now in trick number 499 I told you that we can identify without division whether a particular fraction has a terminating decimal or not. So if the denominator contains only 2's and 5's only then the decimal representation is terminating. So once we have found out that the decimal representation is terminating we can convert this fraction into its decimal form without division. So the method goes like this. Now see 17 upon 4 is actually 17 upon 2 square. So what we need to do here is to equate the number of 2's and the number of 5's in the denominator. So we have two 2's here but no 5's so we need two 5's to equate the number of 2's and the number of 5's. So what I do is, I will multiply by 5 square and divide by 5 square so that we have 2 2's and 2 5's. So just need to find the deficit of factors and multiply and divide by that many factors. But the factor should be only 2 or 5. 17 into 25 and in the denominator because the power is same 2 square into 5 square so we can write it as n square. Now all we need to do is to multiply the numerator and we will have our answer. 17 5 is 85, 8 carry, 17 2 is 34, 42, 425 is the product of 17 and 25 and what is in the denominator? 10 square, 10 square is 100. So just put a decimal 2 digits from the right side. Here we are, the answer is 4.25. Now we don't need to divide 17 by 4 traditionally, you can do it like this. But remember that there are some fractions which you can divide mentally also. 17 upon 4 is a very common example, very general example. But I use that example to tell you the process. Now we will complicate the matter. See, here we have a large fraction at the end. So let's take up 31 upon 50. Now see, 31 upon 50 is actually 31 upon 50 is 2 into 5 into 5. Now see, 2 5's and only 1 2. So we need one more 2. So what we do is, we will put 1 2 in the numerator and 1 2 in the denominator. So 31 into 2 becomes 62. And in the denominator, 2 2's and 2 5's like here, this becomes 10 square. And 10 square is 100, so 0 0.62 is the answer for 31 upon 50. A very very simple process. You should give it a practice of 10 minutes, take 20-30 fractions and solve it. I am sure you will be able to convert this in decimals within 3 to 4 seconds time only. Let's take one more example. 13 upon 40. So 13 upon 40 means 13 upon 2, 2, 2 and 5, 8 into 5, 40. And now what is the deficit? Deficit is 2 5's because we have 3 2's and 1 5 so we need 2 more 5's. So 2 more 5 means 25. And now just multiply the numerator. We have the answer in the next step. 13 into 5 is 65. So 6 carry. 13 into 2 is 26 plus 6 32. Now let's see where we have to put the decimal. Now this is 2 cube and this is 5 cube. So 10 cube. 10 cube means 1000 and 1000 means 1, 2, 3 and 
decimal. So the answer is 0 0.325. Let's have some complicated examples. Here we have 83 upon 250. Let's make factors first. 2 into 125. So 5 into 5 into 5 is 125. So what is the deficit here? We have 3 5s but only 1 2. So we need a 4 that is 2 square in the numerator and denominator. So once we have equated the number of factors, all we need to do is to multiply the numerator. 4 3 is 12, 2 1 carry and 33. And in the denominator we have 5 cube and 2 cube that is 10 cube. And so your answer is 0 0.33. Two. See, traditional division will take a lot of time and this method will consume only 4 to 5 seconds. Let's have one more. This is 211 upon 400. 400 means 2, 200, 2, 100, 2, 50, 2, 25, so 5 and 5. This is 16 into 25, 400. And now see the deficit. We have 4 2s but only 2 5s. So we need 2 more 5s. So multiply this by 25, so 2 more 5s and we have 5 square in the denominator. So just find the product of this, 25 into 1 is 25, 2 carry, 25 into 1 is 25, 27, 7, 2 carry, 50 into 52. And now see the denominator, 4 2s and 4 4s, that means 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 0 0.5275 is the required answer. Let us have one more question. 947 upon. Now, if you if you know 3125 this number, whenever you see this number, you should count the powers of 5. So, this is 5. 5 is a 25. 5 is a 125. 5 is a 625. And 5 is a 3125. So we have 5 5s here but no 2s. So we need 5 2s. So 2 raised to power 5. So in the denominator also we will have 2 raised to power 5. Now powers of 5 and 2s are equated. And we are left with 947 into this is 32. 947 into 32 upon this is 5 times, so 1 followed by 5 zeros. So your answer for the question will be obtained by multiplying this first. So let's multiply this 947 and 32. So we can do it in one step using Vedic maths. 7 to the 14 or 1 carry, 21, 29, 30, 0, 3 carry, 18, and 12, 30, 33, 3 carry, 27, and 3, 30, again 3 carry, and 3, so 3, 0, 3, 0, 4, so 5 zeros, that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 0 point, so 3, 0, 3, 0, 4, 5 digits from the right side, point 3, 0, 3, 0, 4 is the required decimal representation of 947 upon 3125. So these are the methods through which you can find the terminating decimals of various fractions. If you want we can take one more example. So this is example number 7. Suppose we have a number given so, suppose the number in the numerator is 723 and in the denominator we have 5 raised to power 3 and 2 raised to power 4. Now see the factors are already given here. So we don't need to make factors. We just need to equate the number of factors in the denominator. So we have 2 4 times and 5 3 times. So we need one more 5 and if you put one more 5 then just multiply the numerator 5 3 is a 15, 5, 1 carry, 5 2 is a 10, 11, 1, 1 carry, 35, 36, 
and in the denominator we have 5 raised to power 4 and 2 raised to power 4 that is 10 raised to power 4. So just see the power here we have 4. So count 4 from the right, right hand side 1, 2, 3, 4 and put a decimal we have 0 0.3615 as the answer. So when factors are known things become much easier. So when factors are to be calculated or written then you need to do the prime factorization and convert the denominator into powers of 2 and 5. So students this is the method through which a number of calculations can be made simpler by use of this method in which no division is involved but still we are getting the decimal representation of fractions very very easily. Thanks for your love, thanks for your support for watching the channel. Look for more videos to come in future and keep subscribing, keep liking the videos. Thanks for watching.